Well, hello, and welcome back, mathematicians. We are talking today about mixed numbers and improper fractions. So on the screen in front of you, you see there are a couple of different groups of fractions represented. And in the first group, um, we have two halves and one half, all right? And if we were to add two halves and one half, we would have three halves, right? This is known as an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator, all right? So the number of pieces is larger than the definition of the type or the size of the piece. And um, whenever you have a numerator that's larger than a denominator, you've got an improper fraction. Well, improper fractions can be very useful for multiplying and whatnot. Um, because it keeps your entire number in one place. But there's another way to write this, and that's as a mixed number. As you know, two over two is the same as one, and you would simply add one half to that and get one and a half. So one and a half is the same as three halves. And you can tell that this is true because you look over here and you see that one and a half bars are shaded. And also you can see that three halves are shaded. So they're the same thing. Well, um, go ahead and give it a whirl and see if you can figure out what mixed number this set of fractions represents. Pause the video and see what you do. All right, so right off the bat, you may have noticed that each bar has five pieces in it. And so each bar would be named um, five of five pieces, right? And um, this, uh, there are three of those that are completely filled. So let's take off some, let's take off my question marks so that we have a clean slate here. All right, so this bar has five of five pieces. This bar has five of five pieces. This bar has five of five pieces. And this bar only has two of five pieces, right? So we see that we can um, create a mixed number of by this. We see that three entire bars are shaded and two fifths of the last bar is shaded. So the mixed number is three and two fifths. Well, um, that is not the only way we can name this. We can call it by a different name, and that name would be an improper fraction. And the improper fraction in this case, um, we would just add up basically the total number of pieces and put that number over the type of pieces that we have. So we have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 pieces. So 3 and 2 fifths would be 17 fifths. And this would be the improper fraction. All right. So there's another way to do this. We don't actually have to draw a drawing and count all the pieces. We can use a shortcut to figure out how many pieces there are. And one of the ways um, that we could do it is just simply add, you know, um, we have five of five pieces plus five of five pieces. If you had to draw or write it out this way, you could. Um, right? Um, and then you could take it a step further and say one plus one plus one plus two fifths. No, it would be three and two fifths. All right, so this is part of um, part of a way or one of the ways that we could do it. Um, but it's not necessarily the most efficient way, especially if you have something like, you know, 17 and you're talking about a number way bigger than three, like maybe 15 um, and two 17 That would be a really, really tedious thing to have to do, right? So fortunately, there's a different way that we can do it. Let me change colors here and show you that if you take a three and two fifths 
and you multiply the type of piece, which is the denominator, by the number of holes, which is the um, hole number over here to the side, right? Then you get 15 pieces and you see that um, in three bars, there's five in this, uh, the first one, five in the second, and five in the third, and that's 15 pieces altogether. So you're simply multiplying the type of piece by the um, whole number to get 15 pieces, and then you are adding the extra pieces, which are right down here, right, the two pieces. So um, uh, the type of piece is fifths. Five times three holes gives you 15, plus two gives you 17 fifths. All right, and that's a simple, um, simple and very uh, easy way to do that. All right, so you can move between um, improper fractions to mixed numbers or mixed numbers to improper fra fractions. So how do you go the other way? Suppose you had... Um, Suppose you had a different number, like one that I haven't pictured here, like uh, 18 fourths, right? Well, the easiest way to do is to think about the next closest multiple. So I know that 16 is a multiple of four. Four goes into 16 four times. So, so this is going to have at least four holes in it. And then I have two left over, um, four and two fours, which is going to then simplify to four and a half. And we always, of course, want to write the, our numbers in simplest form. That's all I've got for mixed numbers, um, turning them into improper fractions and improper fractions into mixed numbers. And we will see you later.